We get electric for the hair dryer? Uh, yes, yeah. right down there. Right here. Yeah. So we did the electric uh, power. Yeah. Let me just introduce you. I'm going to be crazy and I'll get that going. Okay, everybody, we're ready to start our. Um, <laughs> we're ready to start, to start our lecture with the comedian Sean Crosby. So I need my introduction. Um, I worked so hard on these introductions. Sean Crosby is foremost a decorative painter, but his great joy is teaching the trade to anyone who wants to learn. Sean is from Brooklyn, New York, and at an early age developed a keen sense of observation, recognizing that ge geometry sorry, is the key to accurately reproducing drawing and painting. Sean began teaching in 1996 at the finishing school in New York. In, in 2003, he was invited to teach mural painting with Pascal Amblard at Ipidec in Paris. 94? Sorry. The only American invited to teach the long class. His innate artistic talent is second only to his desire to share his knowledge with his sense of humor, all which contribute to the success of his classes. Sean has been a member of Salon since 2000 or 20, yeah, 2001. His topic today is um, wood grain, walnut or mahogany crotch on a metallic base. There he is. Hello, everybody. Hello, my friends in Europe. So I've done this, this before and uh, you know, I've shared this. I think at Arlene's uh, and Jeannie's uh, salon, I did a, a demo similar to this. I'm going to tell a similar story. Since the theme is storytelling, I'm a much better storyteller than I am the painter. So I have four, three buddies that I've been painting with over the years from so on. That's Pierre, Finkelstein, Nicole, and Jeannie, and Pascal. And uh, we paint, uh, we do play Twister on a mural. And we do a small doorway sized mural, and the four of us are in there over each other. And, and I'm chosen usually to pick the face, you know, and uh, not the greatest at face painting, but I'm um, pretty good at it. But it's like a crapshoot for me, you know. I was talking to Evan and G yesterday about uh, painting a face and preparing to paint a face, which I never do. And, uh, you know, you should practice. Like, like if I have a mahogany job, I go, uh, I practice mahogany. I don't come there and be a you know, mahogany star. You know? I gotta practice. But I never do that with faces. It's a difficult thing to do. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. And when I'm demoing at Salon amongst my peers, and I'm using my ex wife, who's a beautiful woman, you know, from uh, she's got Indian yeah, ex, my ex wife, for a model at, in Philadelphia in 2005, and she's coming out like a Spanish transvestite. You know? oh. And it's like, it's a manly figure, and it's, and it's a fight, you know? It's like, I'm embarrassed, I feel my face getting hot. Uh, so it's a sort of stress involved. So I have a particular story in, in Oslo, in, uh, which relates to wood grain. But, uh, we did it, we're doing another Bougaro style painting with a hall of ruins, inspired, and Pierre was doing marble, Nicola was doing wood, Pascal landscape, and me, an eight inch by eight inch face. So I'm working and I got myself in a fight. So these guys are knocking out this mural and I'm sitting there in the middle. And if this thing comes out like this, eight inch by eight inch, <laughs> the whole mural is a die. No matter how good everything else is, an eight by eight thing, it, it matters. You know? So I'm in there and it's like, and I'm feeling stressed out. It's like, oh, look, it's fine, man, it's fine. Come on. I'm like, all right, all right. You know, and my passion for it is not as So I have some metallic rolled up, you know, board and stuff. But it's a piece of vellum, and I want to, I want a wood grain. I don't want to paint this face. You know? So Pascal goes off to get some coffee, and I make, I make a run for it. Okay? So I'm going to demo. I'm going to find a little spot. I'm going to demonstrate this wood grain. So as soon as he leaves. I'm like, Take myself and grab my green tools and then I'm off to a corner somewhere in Oslo at the, at the salon in Oslo, Benny Salon. So I find a spot in the hallway and I'm, and I'm, I'm putting it up, setting it up. And I'm like, 
I'm keeping an eye out for Pascal. I know he's going to come with a little later. So I start to paint this thing. I start to lay it down. I have a copper base. And as I'm, as I'm, it's a long piece. So I've got a, a lot of, a lot of room for my, to make it a real graceful piece. That sometimes I paint on panels like this, and it's really, it's, it's, it's hard to get some kind of movement. In but I have a nice long European style um, <clears throat> panel to, to really do something nice with. So as I'm, as I'm starting to climb these, climb it up and start to get some movement, Patty Lehane from Belgium walks by and he's like, he's like, yeah, hey, stuck on, stuck on. I'm stuck all the other way. And I'm sitting there. He's an idol of mine. And I, I'm like this. And you're like, there's no help further. And then he goes, hey, what's your power behind the stand? So thanks. You know, I have fun. And uh, Christian Montecourt from the Eagle Jet comes by. He goes, he, he's like Carpo Moth. Oh, you can't understand him. But he can understand him. He's, like, he's like the French version of me, you know? And he comes over and he's like, and he's like, oh, it's like this. He goes, ah, and I'm starting to, I'm starting to do a little bit of a, a more with, with my my sponge brush, which oh my Pierre God. hates. So I, my Dallas sponge brush. You know? So I, I, I'm starting, you know, I'm doing this, and I'm going like this, and and Christian's like, no, 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 no. So it comes from the middle, like this, not like this, like this, like this one. So I'm going, I go, you know, like this, like this, like that. He goes, yeah, 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 I'm just like that. He walks away. Yeah. And then uh, Pierre walks by, and he's he's coming by. He's going to the bathroom, and he's going. He's going. Wow, who is that? Because that's great. Who's that? Who's that? Check this. That's my voice. Yeah. I go check this. He goes. He goes. Check this out. Oh, he goes. Go, 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 go. I was fantastic. He says, try this. He pulls out a piece of rubber, a racer, and he goes like this. Like this? And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, okay, keep it, keep it. And then, uh, who comes, who comes, oh, yeah, Jan. Jan comes by, Jan Burgess. Hey, Jan. He comes by and he goes, listen, he goes, it's fantastic. That's pretty good. He goes, like, he goes, the English, when you did the, the raise, you know, so I don't know if you guys can see this, the raise, they sort of come down into the middle. You see, I still do it today. And uh, he says the English do this, and he takes a little paper towel, look at what it is. And I was like, wow, he goes, yeah, it's a beautiful flag. He's like, yeah, not too much. And I'm looking, still looking for Pascal. <laughs> and I'm doing this thing, and Pascal comes over, and I, I don't know he's behind me. And he goes, come on, you preach your face. You know, <laughs> he scared me like I was caught, you know. And he went like this, he went, go paint your face. He went, that's the best piece of wood. It's the lime shit. That's amazing. And you know what I said? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral of the story is that I come here to learn. I come here to teach. And I, I'm surrounded by my kids. There it's just I remember being in the paint band in the uh, uh, late 80s, early 90s. <clears throat> okay, when's your first book come out? Okay. Lady, yeah. So I'm being in a, in a truck, with, and, and you guys all know about Mickey, my old partner. I've told stories of him over the years, but uh, we're two house painters. We had this business called the Mac Painting Decorator. Uh, I think it would be like, yeah, we'd be a lot of little cabinets, you know. <laughs> and we were like, you know, sort of street guys, became painters, you know. I remember looking at Pierre's book, you know, look at this, he's a house painter like us. But she makes me home in the case. <laughs> and Mickey's like, no painter makes me home in the day. No house painter in arts. And today we're with the closest of friends, the brothers. So I'm going to share something with my, it's a little, it's a little nuance I do, which I started studying. <laughs> so, so we started studying. <laughs> ah! <laughs> my time. So, you got water? Water to drink? Okay. Um, okay, so eighty day and don't bust my kids. All right, so um all right, so I'm gonna share with you something that I study with me. I 
Aina had some books from the Anakin gang, who also I wound up meeting, which is, uh, I just can't believe that I, how my life evolved in meeting all my peers, you know, and these guys are my peers now, but these guys are really, really dope. And he had some French books before he put the handbook together, a big textbook, and he had a little, bunch of little French books. It was in French, but the pictures were in English. <laughs> so I would, I would like look at this stuff and I try to figure it out with this water based product that I was using, my full effects, and I had no abuse. And then, you know, it didn't get to be French. We're both oh, coming oh, at oh. It's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's warm. Nice. Oh, yes. I, I want to uh, much better. <laughs> so, all right, so what was they talking about? Full effects, right? So I started to, to look at the stuff and Pierre stuff and and uh, I tried to figure it out with acrylic. They were using beer and oil and uh, like gouache and oil, which is still a, a, one of the best things still out today. Um, I started playing with pack times, adding varnish to slow drying medium, um, letting it you know heat up a little bit so it started to tack and getting it wasn't reversed and stuff. But I also started looking at uh, you know, um, you become aware. I, in the beginning, I destroyed a lot of homes. You know, I, I, I've painted some awful stuff for years. You know, eh. boy, the work that I did, boy, this well. And um, I actually had to be pretty good at it. You know, pretty. You know. And uh, I started looking. I was the guy in the, the elevator in Manhattan, like this. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and uh, you know, a woman with the kids on the far side of the elevator going. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it gets worse when you go like this. <laughs> it's the wood. Like, <laughs> so I become a freak now and I start to really observe nature. And, um, I started to notice certain woods like mahogany. It's like the only thing I demo it. You know? It's like, because I, I try to show this metallic, it doesn't really work. It still works with like bird's eye maple, with a pearl behind there a little bit. But certain woods have this glimmer in the back. So it does, it's not the answer for it. There's some guys doing some crazy stuff on a bar. He's doing uh, things with suspending animal hair and epoxy that looks like a pore structure. It's just like crazy stuff, uh, cool stuff. But it's, you know, sharing this stuff and taking it to the next level and other people want to know. I think it's what's more about. So, so I, I started painting on these just metallic and it's, it's just a little something in there. So I've got a couple of panels I did yesterday. It's not the greatest stuff. Uh, like I said, I should practice before I demonstrate. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing it. So uh, I'm gonna show you a figure first of uh, mahogany. Uh, hopefully, it'll come out better than the last one I did. And uh, and then I'm gonna take the one I did and I'm gonna tone it. And uh, we can start to maybe see the quality. Of it. Maybe I might have Pierre jump in and help me. Please do. All right, and the collaboration. I have a panel I brought in today. It's like I, I love these guys, and I love collaborating with salon owners. I see it being done now. It's like often done by members come together. And I've got a panel done. Pascal and I did, worked on for uh, Goldens proceeds years ago, and uh, Nicola the genie by Pierre and me. I did the face, did the tortoise shell, and so it's it's cool. I love salon. So if I'm pleased to share this. Okay, so uh, here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm using a, a what was that? <laughs> Vitamin D. It's just wound up being all over my clothes uh, on the plane. I took a little bit of this color. I like it. It's, it's a mahogany color by Full Effects. Um, I uh, I just I like it for mahogany, and it's very it's just, it's got the quality of an ink, so it's very transparent, and it's it's nice. You know? So I'm going to use that with Golden's uh, products, which I love, and uh, help uh, develop them and. Um, they, uh, I think we're going to get something good. All right, so let's go. What is that color? What is that? This is called, okay, I'm sorry. It's antique mahogany faux color, as opposed to faux cream color. Right? There's two, it's sort of weird, weird names and you get them confused. But the faux colors are like inks. It's like a razor curl against the aniline dye, or something like that. It's the quality of that. All right, so. And, uh, good. It's in the pot now, mate. What? Yeah, how is it nice? Yeah. Okay. 
So I'll set this up. I'll do some nice and try to get some decent movement in here. And uh, so when you do that decent movement, okay, yeah, you want me to stand here? No. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try my ambidextrous oh, move now. I'll try doing it left. Well, you know, maybe I can move the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a good kid. I told him a lot. He picks, he picks up like this. I'm going to actually I'm gonna bring in my, my apprentice to fix my stuff. <laughs> So let's, let's we'll get this wave going. Uh, I'm going to try to get a wall in. What time is it? Time is it? it is quarter after you have 45 minutes. Oh. Oh. Get the whole wall done. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have Pierre come in and uh, we'll do the smoke study. And we have to go. Thanks, Bobby. Ah, he's got all his brushes. Oh, his brushes. What is it? A comb. A comb. A comb. A comb. A comb. As you can see, I'm always prepared. It's Yeah, my grip. I haven't even, I haven't even heard. You guys all know this video. You okay, so I've got ultramarine blue in there to cool stuff off, but I'm, I'm going to go with a, a raw umber, burnt umber, and a little of this mahogany. Um, you can see it's very transparent, but I'm going to kill it a little bit. I'm going to dip into my glaze. I'm using an open palette. I'm not just mixing a generic, which I actually got from Pierre. You know, I used to mix a glaze for a, you know, mix a glaze for a good mahogany, but I started using an open palette. I think it looks much more natural. So I'm going to start stretching this out. But you can see the quality of that color. Is that just straight uh, low viscosity? Uh, no, I think, Tim, do we have a, do we have, um, I got a little blue in there. Do we have all the sassy here? I don't think we do. They changed the cans from close to the oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. they, they, We don't have it. It's the same. Well, I mean, what is that you have on your plate? What, what is the glazing medium? Yeah, that's, that's, right. Right. I, that's why I'm asking. I don't know if it's all the sassy. Oh, it just says glazing medium. Yeah. So that's the regular. Yeah, it's never been Looking it up and I can feel it setting a little bit here. You just want to stretch this out. You know, I remember my first salon in Paris and Bill Holgate. We were at the dinner. He's passed away as an English man. So I'm making the deal. And uh, he had a story talking about a, a little thing. When I start to do this, it goes from light to dark like that. I think about so he told me this. He told me this thing about how he had a little secret, how he only way he would his glaze from one side to the other, light to dark. And it was, it wasn't big, but it was his, you know, and he kept it to himself. And he, it was a little secret that gave him stuff an edge. And he said, you know, uh, he said, but I felt good about it. He said, but it, it wasn't until I, I shared it with my first apprentice that I felt really good about it. And he goes, and that's, it was a great English accent. He said, that's what it's all about, isn't it? And he was, I agree with that. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna set up a flower. Okay. And this is a Delta style. This is like I got this sort of pumpkin here. You know? And uh, I'm gonna set something up. I'm gonna pick one side instead of going up the middle. I'm gonna attempt to move this. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to paint this way. It's a gives me an excuse when it comes out bad. Yeah, I, <laughs> I will take it. How did I do that? So I'm moving the camera. Will somebody watch on the screen and tell me what's There's going a on? He's telling me, he told me the other day, we were texting each other and said, you know, hey, it's been, I haven't seen anything from you in a while. I don't know, you know, you know, I've been working, got jobs, I'm doing, you know, I'm kind of a house band. My nephew says you're out there. So I'm, I'm doing jobs that are like, uh, you know, fine paint for Euro, Venetian plant for Goldie, all interesting stuff. I need to practice, and we all need to practice. So anyway, I'm setting up these rays here. I'm trying to create something that's going to be of interest when I when I bring in a, a vignette. Okay, so I'm bringing this in, and I've got this kind of Florida kind of tree. <laughs> yeah, that's Spanish bayonets. I'm a period outside building the park. Ah! All right, so stand back. You guys see me do this on the internet? I think. Okay. Paul Powell's from, from Holland, he said, uh, or towards Belgium, Belgium. The old, most over tools, over used tool in the business, the badger brush. He was the old man going like this. So, uh, okay, so um, we're going to start. I'm gonna try to close this up. I left it open there. I'm going to try to do something a little bit more interesting here. Am I blocking you now? Yeah. No. I am now. <laughs> Oh, it's starting to jack up, so I probably have to move a little quick. Okay, so I stagger these. And what I'm doing is I'm laying the sponge down and I'm starting to push with my thumb on my finger to get compression on the sides. And I'm going to follow this, but I'm going to start to close it up a little tighter than the one I did. I'm using my finger. And I'm going to clean the sponge because it gets loaded with paint. Make sure you get a little bit more here. Just on the side. So I'm trying to create some movement now. I'm going back this way. Now, if I had a longer panel, I could really get some fun stuff out. I'm going to try to fake it though. And uh, every once in a while, you'll see me look into the audience like this and look at Pierre. He'll be he'll go like this. The Pierre will go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go like this, Dave. It'll be very subtle, like this. <laughs> and he'll go. <laughs> He's always got his brother's back. That's one thing about me. Yeah. He's not heavy. He's my brother. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to close it now. And I'm going to start to sort of connect it here. And Michelle Nadai used to say, you should stop one over here coming up. You know, and I was like, yeah, I don't want to look like an idiot, you know. <laughs> I might do it wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna just keep it real simple. I'm gonna I've got I've got a little breeze in my wall and we're gonna see if I can pull something off with that. But all right, so we just got compression. I'm just trying to keep this nice, a little bit of linen in there. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have fun. I tell you, I, 
I'm having fun now, but I tell you, with New York so on the MPL here, it's so much fun. I gotta bring them up. Well, I'll have to bring them up. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun. All right, so it's okay. I guess I could have. Uh, All right, now my badge board. Now, one thing I, I don't do a lot, but I always tell you, tell you to stand back and look away, right? So stand back and you sort of look. You know, when your clients are on, you gotta look surprised. You go like this. Like... <laughs> and that's how you get the big money. And that's how you get the big money. All right, so I'm going to start the poems with the heart. I'm going to do a little bit of what Jan showed me. I've got all my stuff, I've got all my memories of all my teachers and uh, as I admire all the tips at Oslo. All, all come into play now. Now I'm flogging on the side with my badger because it, it, it's sort of um, a poor structure of mahogany. It seems to go that way. You know? So it's, it's just, a, just like how you use your brush. All right, come to the middle. This is here. Not up, down. That sounds a little better than Yeah, that's, that sounds more like it, right? <laughs> that's better. All right. So, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. So, and now we're going to do, so I'll, I'll mention that again. I'm very A little English trick, but a couple of those going into the center. All right, not too much. All right, now we're going to take what's called a binet, and I'm going to put a grain to it. I think it's capped up, so let's see. Let's see what we've got. So, this is a, I can afford the brush, bro. This is one of my favorite brushes in Pierre's catalog, but it's, it's cheap. It's not that expensive. That's why I can afford it. <laughs> All right, so. Nothing is nothing is cheap. They're well made. He's like, oh man, he's doing that stupid cardboard and that's eating it. Now I sell it. Yeah, now I sell it. No, but we were we did the union class in 2005. Keep the trade alive, 2005. And uh, we we did this thing, and, and and Pierre was doing this doing his brushes, and and uh, I was doing with the guys, and you know, it's like come up in the union, you know, as a kid and stuff. He's nine years old. And it's funny, I, I always wanted to work for Strauss Creative when I was a, when I was a kid with blue stripes on my head. You know, and now I'm an old man, I got blue stripes, I get to work for Strauss Creative. <laughs> you know, it's funny. But um, what was I saying? I forgot, I lost my train of thought. What was you I saying? Huh? What? Little, uh, business. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're teaching together, and uh, Pierre's doing this crazy walnut, you see, he's a master. And uh, I do walnut, but he's using these brushes and I, I'm using a torn business card. Oh, the rep from a uh, tape, a tape company. What's the tape? 3M. 3M comes in, he's like, oh, you know, these guys are like, you know, you and Pierre, you know, we're doing endorsements or something like that. Give a business rep, give me a card. And uh, I took the card and I tore it in half and I, I'll show you on the walnut. And, I went, and then I used a foam brush. And uh, Pierre was like, he goes, what are you using, man? I said, just, he goes, I told Pierre, I said, he goes, it's like, you know, a little bit of bush tail. What do you do that for? I was like, I said, I said, you know, show me how to use the brush. I really don't know how to use the brush. I was like, you know, and he said, you know what? He goes, don't stop doing what you're doing because it's you and this way. I said, you keep doing what you're doing. We've been friends for a long time. And I said, use my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a bit of, so this is cool, it's like the magic brush. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a heart clean through this, okay? This one's coming out much better than, so you don't see anything yet, but hopefully this is something now. I'm talking too much, but what's, what's what happens? It's like, it's like beer, okay? It's just starting to tack, okay? So I'm gonna find this, I'm pretty much moving up top. Just water. It's just water, yeah. Yeah, it's just hot. 
So I'm getting something behind there. And it's like, what I love about this little tool and this little trick, it's, it's, it's in the surface, it's not on the surface. Oh, it looks like it's, it's in there. Don't do that in your client's house. <laughs> you get angry. <laughs> All right, here we go. That set went nice. I don't even need the edge of that. Close enough. I'm going to pull it through the dog comb, separate it. You can also get these at faubrushes.com. You, the, you can get a, you can get a, you can get a tooth strainer, which is cut. So you don't have to do so much work with the dog tool. Faubrushes.com. Okay, now we're gonna, I step one up so I can get to the toning layer. Okay, and then you have it, curtsy. But it, it, I don't know if you guys can see it from, from there or at home. But uh, you can see this metallic quality on this. But when I push it back, it's a little graphic now, but when I push this back, it'll be it'll be pretty. I, I've got one, it's not so as good as this one, I don't think. But, uh, I'm gonna push it, put, make it dark. Push it real far back. All right, so that's it. Now, I, would, I like to do this with um, clutch figure mahogany. Okay, this is, I'm painting this upside down. Yeah. So I'm painting this upside down. And when you become, when you start to grain, you start to think about nature and uh, copying it. It helps that our trees grow. And this is, this is the spine of the tree. So what this is, I painted it upside down. This is, the, this is the spine of the tree, and this is a branch, and this is a branch, and this is what we call the crutch, right here. This is two branches. But uh, for visual weight, we use carpenters and uh, furniture makers. We use it upside down. More interesting. Okay. Now, since we got the mahogany out, I'll try to. I got a little down. I, I did something a little different. Uh, just trying to copy anything that's something so fancy and Belgian. So uh, I've got this thing that looks realistic. I like it. Sometimes it's pants. Sometimes the real stuff isn't as pretty as a pants. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tone this. And I'm going to use my foam brush. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to have a little fun. Let's see if it comes out good. Get ready for here. Anyway. Same stuff. The blue, raw umber, burnt umber, and uh, edge of mahogany, full color. I think it's. This one's a little pretty, so I'm going to keep it light. I'm going to stretch out my glaze. How long is that one to dry? It's been dry. I did this yesterday at the end of the salon, so it's like three o'clock yesterday. It doesn't look like it's ripping off, which is good. But if I if I set something a little tender, it's, it probably takes longer to, to, to cure than oil, you know. If I have something a little tender, what I'll do is I'll put like a more of a varnish over it. And I, I, I use HVLP a lot, you know, to isolate stuff. Like I can use beer color because I'll shoot the I'll do the beer and I'll shoot the you know HVLP. <laughs> isolate it. No, no, I know, like a, like a like a varnish or anything. You know, I've done that before, you know. That's not something I do all the time. I don't grade as much things, but uh, I can, you know, isolate stuff and then go over it, you know, like wash and stuff like that. Okay, as long as I don't agitate it. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, we're gonna use a body brush. We're using my foam brush. 
He says, nom nom. <laughs> no, no. I say, come up here. <laughs> I was just told, please. Right. <laughs> this one Fun, we overdo. You know? So, again, I stand back and look surprised. <laughs> All right, so last one. Very cool. Look okay? Yeah. Sometimes less is more. Show you how to do that one. Just don't. It's just brush cleaning. All right, this one. That's the greatest one. Make it look good. Okay, it's pure, it's dry. I would actually maybe close it up a little bit more. Right. We'll do the same thing. I'll get a little fancy with more a with water reversible. And they're doing this one. So let's see. Eight. Very carefully. <laughs> Very carefully. So we push it now, we start to push it back. Okay, I'm going to keep the light on the middle. Is Bill, is Bill here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the toilet shelf? And the I didn't know. Yeah. That's Pierre. Yeah. Collaboration. I know we were talking about this. Right. A little bit more color. I don't want to keep the center dark. I really want to push over this one back. Well, so good. It's funny you have to work 
in Manhattan. I read the Brooklyn and Pierre shop, and I was like, he's, he's hiding some some street. <laughs> he's so busy with his uh, you know, the film crew upstairs. He's getting ready for this wonderful online stuff he's doing. And he's climbing up in his shelves and he's pulling out these fat bags. It's only for his brother. He's not heavy. Now we're going to try to do some more. Yeah, because we're looking a little bit darker, right? What do you think? Anybody? Definitely. Definitely. You can tell he's a boss. Decision. I like this with acrylic. This foam. I'm going to come in with a vignette and I'm going to pull it a little bit to get it to be natural. I'm going to show you that. So it, and it's more so with the warmer. And this is that with Christian from the company center instead of the this. So anything that's fun, we overdo. I just want to create a little bit of movement, create some interest. So this is these lines that I set up when I started sketching my Florida tree. Remember these roots? So sort of, I'm trying to keep them going through the wood. Right? So I'm going to start like this. You see this here? So it's like so it sort of echoes through. This can look very contrived as a square sponge, you know? So it's the way I push it and the way I bounce it, I'm using the weight of this. And I'm just pulling it, pulling it, stop, stop, stop. It's just irregular. When, I, when I'm teaching grading, I, I, uh, I have students that it's so much fun to do this. They're like, that <laughs> was very contrived, you know? So you really have to practice with this thing to make it, to make it look good, all right? I'm gonna to create too much here. Okay. And I'm just gonna pull some interest in here. Maybe something big. Happy little tree, you do it probably also. <laughs> do it itself here. Okay. So that's it. And then we're gonna we're gonna come back in with a, a little flogging here and there. That's making it nice. Yo man needs these to it might be terrible. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of this stuff you can't know. You can't see. It's a little scratchy right This is not a Pierre brush. I gotta pull it here later. Oh. Yeah, it was much better with the glass and all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> much better. Take them off again. Uh, what was that? Uh, so let's see if I can do a walnut. So you get some walnut in there. <laughs> okay, so this is my hairline. 
I don't know if you guys can see the metallic in there yet, but when it's dry, you'll see it. I'll be buying it. Uh, give these away in the past. All right, so let's see if you are. Uh, all right, now I'm going to take a shot. And I'm going to ask, ask you every time I help you on this one, but I'm going to. If I get in trouble, you're going to be going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so here's a metallic. Okay, it's a, it's a blonde Van Dyke brown and gold over a over a uh, umber yellow. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a I've got a regular walnut figure and I've got a little crush figure going here. So I'm going to apply the you know a little crush figure action on the side over here. I did it a little, a little different way here. It's actually there's three different ways I've done this. You know, crush, but here I'm going to try to put a feather flame. I'm going to try to do it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to change up my palette a little bit. I'm going to use multi blue. So I'm going to get a dish and some more umber. Pierre, will we? Yeah, raw umber. Yeah. Umber. And, uh, yeah? Who's that? Uh, ah. Thank you, guys. I miss you. So, right under. Right. So, I'm going to put it on, take it off. We're going to get a lot of movement done. This. And I love demonstrating with Pia. I think I'm going to get something good on my own. But, good. No, but I think uh, good time. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in. Good time. It's a treat. Because he's going to do what you're lecturing on. You're lecturing on Trump's life. It's nice to see the math that I put you. So I'm going to share the with my brother. Right. All right, so I'm using raw umber, burnt umber, and ultimate blue. We're going to put a little ultimate blue in here. We're going to stretch it out just to cool off one side. That's a nice color. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's a little tender. I'm starting to rip it up. Yeah, this one's getting ripped up a little bit. And we'll see if we can find something. Uh, it's getting, it's lifting a little bit. I remember this happened to Matt's. <laughs> Matt's cross and another buddy of mine. How long has that one been sitting? Yeah, this has been sitting. I did this, I actually did this earlier. No, I did it. Twelve hours, yeah. But it's yeah, my work is lifting, it's uh, reactivating. It's not gonna be cool.
Tell us about this brush. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tooth spotter. Who brushes that guy? Sure, but anyway, it's still here. This is my, my sister, Barbara. <laughs> she is my uh, lifelong friend. Like, yeah. I sent her a picture and said, hey, I found your brush. Yeah. <laughs> I borrow her brush and I'm always thinking about it. She's a very dear friend. He helped me out when I was down. He's always been her here. They've always been there. All right. All right. Let's so, so I'm going to try to bring this figure back. I got it's a little, and I'm going to try to. Get this thing coming up again. All right, it's set up now. I'm going to start using the net. Okay, so I wanted to say something. Um, we have five minutes for Zoom for anybody that's on Zoom. We really, I can't extend past the time of 10 o'clock. Okay. However, everybody here, you all can continue to watch him demonstrate. And so I'm sorry, Zoom watchers, but we have a uh, Salon board meeting at 11 o'clock, and I can't have the two things going at the same time. So I just want to let you know that in five minutes, I'm going to be shutting you off. <laughs> All right, this is pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to start to create this thing inside my foam brush. I'm going to start to go into the heart. 
not we have a drive at the moment. And we're going to start with forward to the performance. So I, this this is got to set up so I can I can move it and remove it and get this organic stuff by opening it up again. Okay. I like it because it doesn't look contrived. So I, I use the vignette to open the glaze and then I push it to get this cool in the surface kind of finish, which makes my bed grinning look pretty good. Let's see if I can get the pattern over here. Okay, we're gonna do this. You have a few more comments. Excellent. I want more Sean stories. <laughs> me, me too. No encouraging mine. Who's <laughs> that, <laughs> Pascal? Don't encourage him. And also, our wrist says me too. Our wrist says thank you, Sean. I'm also excellent. Oh, thanks, guys. Love you guys. Missions. A little dry, but uh, we're gonna get something happening here. All right, uh, oh, I got too many questions. <laughs> I set up a little too much. I'm dropping the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, I don't know. Let's see. 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 Let's